Yo guys, this is Reinhardt. I had to take a small break from making WoW videos because honestly, I just snorted the shit out of myself in the Warhammer. Total War Warhammer. Awesome game. So for this for this movie, because I actually slacked off last week, I'm gonna try to make a video every single day. Now, a lot of people on the Facebook said, hey dude, we just want your content outside of World of Warcraft because we like your personality. So, with that said, guys, I'm gonna be making videos outside of World of Warcraft. Uh, don't take any offense to that, I love you very much, and I do think I can provide a good quality content for you outside the game. But today, we're gonna talk about the annoying, the annoying night, the most annoying night you could just imagine. It'll make you people rage quit. So yes, I am talking about the Blood Knight. So yes, I am talking about the Blood Knight. By the way, I am dueling right now, so... With commentary. So he saps me, I'm put a dust in the underground. So if he's gonna open up on me here, he's gonna get feared. I'm gonna do a couple... Never mind, no Blood Balls. Okay, I am gonna stun him. Probably my vampiric blood and oh my god, he's abusing that shit. Oh, whew. Okay, I have a grip for him too. And because he trinketed in my first time. Whew. Yeah, this was the closest duel I ever had. Sorry guys, I should have even commented here, but I didn't. So, whew. Blood Knights, uh, Blood Knights, Blood Decays, man. The most annoying knights you could possibly imagine. Like, everybody rolls a rogue right now here on PTR because rogues are just, they're, they're kings of duels. And when you actually play Blood Decay against them, man, they hate you for that. Pretty badly. And they have all the rights to because the Blood Decay is probably the best dueling class out of everybody. And he just wrecks people. So, let's talk, my friends. Why Blood Decays are so innately annoying as hell. Well, that's because their sustained damage is quite not that great. Their burst is actually pretty good. They don't move a lot. They're literally an unmovable tower. Like, oh god, we don't even have a ranged snare anymore. So getting kited by mages, they just run around in circles like you are. And you technically cannot grip them because they will blink out. It's annoying. But when the blood decay gap closes, holy shit, he heals a lot. And if you set up a good burst, you can actually burst some like 30-40% of somebody else's HP in just a few globals. So, Blood Decays are an interesting breed. I don't think they are the best for 3v3 or for 2v2. But for duels, they are absolutely the most fantastic class out there. And the reason why they're so fantastic is because they have high healing, they have decent damage. They have more defensive than Hillary Clinton about her freaking emails. And they have more control than NSA. Like, it's legitimately an annoying knight. It's not a blood knight, it's an annoying knight. Because all he does is annoys the living shit out of people. But he does a damn good job of that. The biggest strength of a blood decay is not against the casters. Well, he can hold its own against the casters, but... I think the Fire Mage can actually beat the crap out of the DK, Blood Decay because they can kite pretty well. However, Blood Decay is just absolutely the most fantastic and annoying against the melee opponents. Uh, and especially with a few talent choices that I'm going to show you. So basically the idea of the Blood Decay is get as much runic power as possible. And Maru Rent is the best for that because... It does give you a good amount and it also builds up your bone shield stacks and it also does the most damage out of all your rune consuming abilities outside the blood drinker that we're going to talk about. Overall, 
just a solid, solid um, class. So generate as much runic power as you can. And the Death Strikes is going to be your main burst because they actually crit up to 300k in PvP outside in the dual area and about to 50k I would say in arenas. And if you have your also uh, rune weapon, well, that adds a lot more damage out of that. That's where sometimes I would get somebody from 40% to zero in just uh, like two Death Strikes and then plus one or two Mara Rands. The class is really, really strong, but I think that the class is actually could be viable in Arena, but you're gonna have to play legitimately a freaking with the Warrior. And you have to be a kill set upper for the Warrior, which you can technically do. Now, my friends, would you believe me that every time I try to make a video on the PTR, it crashes? Well, that's the shit that happened to me right now. But let's. I'm going to go briefly through the abilities and everything else of the Blood Decay right over here. So, for the first one, it's a Blood Drinker. Absolutely no questions asked. Now, it can get interrupted via spells like Counter Spell when you're getting kited. And this is one of the best kind of a mage killing abilities, to be honest. However... The best way to do it, to use a blood drinker, is if you strangulate the mage who tried to kite you in the beginning, and then you use a blood drinker, you, they cannot interrupt you. Or if you lock them out of the arcane school. So a lot of mages got so frustrating when I dueled against them in the blood drinker, because they would cast polymorph, I would lock it, and I would just blood drinker myself almost for 300k healing. And they will be super pissed. So for the second one, it's a rapid decomposition, uh, no questions asked. When, um, well, depends. I mean, Rapid Discomposition or the Soul Forge. However, I do think that Rapid deco uh, Decomposition is just better, to be honest. And the reason why it's better is because of the next thing. The, the reason why I say Blood Decays have more control than NSA is as we go down a little bit. Then the Blood Tap. For the most cases, Anti-Magic Shell Berry is a good defensive cooldown. So is Ossuary, but you want to get more of those... You want to get a little bit more damage and more runic power, and the blood tap is perfectly to fill into that gap. Now, for next, you want to go with a mark for blood against the melee, and I would say probably tombstone against the range classes. Most of the time, I would recommend strongly to take a tremble before me against a few cases. Like if you duel against like a mages or somebody who kite right near you then Titan Grass could be a really, really solid choice as well, because 60%, 70% Snare is just absolutely phenomenal. So now, granted, my DK, I literally had 50-60 duels, and there was one guy playing a Fire Mage who could kite me and actually won once a legitimate duel out of like 50. It's ridiculous. And I probably shouldn't have lost too, I got over cocky, but... Then we go for the Will of Necropolis, probably would be the best uh, here, defensive cooldown. But also, Foul Bulwark is pretty decent as well. And here, I would say a Bone Storm is probably the best uh, talent to pick uh, because for PvP. Blood Mirror is also pretty decent against ranged classes. Now, the variation, like I said, Titan Grass could be changed, but Tremble Before Me is awesome. Basically, every time you drop on this in Decay, there's a good chance that it's gonna fear the opponent. Now, if this stands for about 5 to 6 seconds, I would say about 80% of the time they will get feared. Uh, if they stand the whole 10 seconds, I'd say at least 90% chance they will get feared. It procs, and it procs a good amount. However, uh, nobody stands in there so much. So you can use it as a range snare because Blood Decays did lose Chain of Ice. They did lose the range snare, so Tightening Grasp could be actually very, very good. For the PP talents right over here, and there's a two different specs. For troll dueling, you go with the softened blows or murderous intent. And for the arenas, murderous intent, no question asked. It is absolutely fantastic. And that's probably the only one of those few talents that will make Blood Decay viable. You'll go with the Dark Simulacrum because you don't really need that much survivability against the casters. Uh, so Dark Simulacrum is a really, really, really solid choice out here. Uh, again, the Auras, it's, I think this was beaten up to a pulp. Here, I would say go with the Strangulate. I mean, honestly, Strangulate is just fucking phenomenally amazing. It is a really, really solid choice. And uh, as a Blood Decay, you have the Asphyxiate, you have the Dust and Decay Fear, and you have a Strangulate. And that's what makes you to have lots and lots of crowd control. It's just unbelievable, guys. 
Last one, everybody thinks that the Blight is a good idea, but it's not. It's Death Chain. If Arena's Death Chain is a must to have. For um, duels, Blight is also not that great because the area is so small. It's not like it pops one of those big deaths in the case. It's just a very small circle, which is understandable. However, however, it's just people just run out of it and it doesn't have enough time to fear. Like, if you pop a good Dust and Decay and the enemy goes from left to right, he has to go through like 60% of your Dust and Decay, there's a good chance he's gonna get feared. But if it's just this small way, then there's a lot less chance. Like, legitimately, Blight actually gimps your chances of getting your fears out via Dust and Decay. So, and Blood for Blood, um, it's not worth it at all. Uh, you take 220k damage to yourself, and yes, you're not getting focused a lot, but right now they nerfed Heart Strike by good amount to the point where Heart Strike does like. With this in Arena, my Heart Strike did like 50 60k damage. Like, I do 220k damage to myself and 56k damage to my opponent. I mean, it's not worth it. It's not worth at all, even a little bit. Like, I could understand if you would hit for like 150k. Then Blood for Blood could be decent, but other than that, I just I think it's just too high of a cost. Like if they could lower the cost down to like two percent or four percent, maybe Blood for Blood could potentially be a decent choice. Otherwise, I don't see it. Oops. So basically, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I I understand it's kind of been a bit of a dry video because technically speaking it's a Blood Decay and not many people play Blood Decay and the people who play Blood Decay are kind of getting felt ashamed for playing Blood Decay. My biggest thing is the class is actually kind of fun to play and it's easy, it's fun to play it and I had a huge urge of trolling the shit out of people when I actually played this pack because honestly it's just so overpowered when it comes to duels. However, I'm gonna tell you this one thing. Play whatever makes you happy, guys. And I hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up because it does help me out, guys, a lot being a content provider for you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and the Svidania.